entire state of ours, Arizona. I specifically love the town of Sedona. What a beautiful place. I know so many people have come from all over the world to visit our state, specifically Sedona. Joining me today is Margaret Joy Weaver. She's the board chair in Sedo of Sedona International City of Peace. And she joins us today to talk about some really amazing events that are taking place. Thank you. We're so happy to have you. So the first thing you and I were just talking about is this human books that's taking place. Tell mm -hmm. us about that. Yeah. Well, this the Sedona Human Library. We've been doing it for four years in Sedona. For three years, we've been doing it live at the library. And in May, came to realize that we may not be able to do that. Realized we really need to have this event during these challenging times. So we're doing it all online on Zoom. So there's 26 human books, which represent different stereotypes, prejudices, various ways that we differentiate ourselves from other people. So is it someone acting out the stereotype of, give me an example of a stereotype that you might be, we might see. Beautiful, so there's a, and no one's acting, this is real life. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so, so for example, there's a, a, a trans man mm -hmm. who was a woman mm -hmm. and is now a man and has an incredible, incredible story. So he will share the challenges of living in this stereotype as a trans man. And then me as an attendee on Zoom, am I ask questions or how does that work? So you'll be listening and seeing how it is that you might s separate or distance yourself from someone with this stereotype and you'll have an opportunity throughout to be able to engage and ask questions for understanding. I love this because I think so often our biases are hidden, right? Yes. They're blind to us. We don't really know that we have this bias until maybe someone's standing in front of us and speaking their story. It's like, oh, wow, you know, I do this or I do that and how that makes that person feel possibly. What's another example of a stereotype we might see? So we also have physically disabled. Mm -hmm. So there's times we have those kind of um, stereotypes. We also have a white male cop which is very interesting at this time yeah. and then we have a heroin addict mm -hmm. we have someone who has had a near death or actual death experience for five days mm -hmm. and uh, we have a child welfare mother mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we also have a crazy cat lady <laughs> <laughs> I love this <laughs> I love this you have piqued my interest. I mean, I know a lot of viewers as well want to say, how can I watch this? Where do we sign up? Well, you go to SedonaHumanLibrary.org, and on that page, all the books, the human books, there's um, the name of the stereotype plus the description, and then you'll sign into a, Zoom, a room. Okay. And each room at t will have at 10 o'clock one of the human books, 11 o'clock a different one, and at 12 o'clock another. Fascinating. I love the idea of it with people homeschooling their children, maybe their older children right now. Yes. It might be a great way to expose them to something like this, like a sociological way. What a, what a great thing. Yes. We learn through others, right? Others' experiences. Tell us about the International Day of Peace and the events taking place with that. So the International Day of Peace, we in Sedona have been an international city of peace for eight years. And every year we've done something really tremendous in Sedona uh, as it relates to the day of peace and it's done around the world actually on the 21st on Monday. Okay. So what we're going to be up to is we have uh, a, a, a day called Dissolve the Divide mm. with five events that are happening that people can see at the Mary D. Fisher Theater and also uh, uh, live streaming online. So we really are taking on having a truthful, honest, open conversation at first to dissolve the divide which we need right now between the law enforcement and also our communities. So both of us are responsible in the way that we have created this division. So that'll be the first two events will be with the police chief and one of the police officers and also the person in charge of all the jail systems wow. up here in wow. Mattapai. This is fantastic. Where can our viewers go for more information? So for more information, people can go to the Sedona International City of Peace Facebook page. You can like our page and also go to SedonaFilmFestival.org. I can't wait to come over to Sedona. Yes. Yeah, really is. looking forward to it. Thank you so much for sharing this great information with all of us today. You're so welcome. And thank you for joining us.